It was a very strong weekend here on the Power Five. I went 6-1 and one with Saturday College Football Selections. That includes the three look-aheads I gave out on Thursday. Plus, if you caught Sunday's show, I was 3-2 and two in the NFL. That makes it a 190, 164, and 11 overall run with free plays on the show the last few months. Today, boy, do I have a lot for you. It's opening night in college hoops, plus a very big NBA card. We got Monday Night Football, Bucks, Chiefs. And in just a moment, I'll be giving you a free client play for this afternoon in soccer. So here we go. As a reminder, you can always comment on any of these selections down below. But if you'd be so kind as to smash that like button, your support is very much appreciated as I continue to dole out the free plays here on Wager Talk TV. And what better place to start than Spain? A little La Liga action to get you going on Monday. I like Getafe, plus half a goal at Celta Vigo. Getafe, they've been the draw specialists in La Liga this season. Seven of their 11 league matches have ended up even. I think they end up with at least a point this afternoon, if not all three, and get the win. Getafe, they've conceded one goal or less in 10 of their 11 matches this season. It's very good. Only Atletico Madrid has conceded fewer times here in the Spanish top flight. Getafe also unbeaten their last four matches. They've won the XG battle in each of the three draws during that stretch. They are also third in the league in shot differential this season. So this is a team I think maybe due for an offensive explosion here. They're going to find the back of the net perhaps a couple times. And Celta Vigo, they've conceded a total of 20 goals already, so maybe the perfect opponent for that to happen. Uh, Celta Vigo have just one win in their last six league matches as well. That was against Las Palmas, who figures to be relegated at the end of this season. Last five head-to-head meetings between these two sides have seen Getafe go unbeaten. And one final note, Getafe's match at the Copa del Rey last week got postponed due to the flooding, so they should have the fresher legs for this Monday fixture. Getafe plus half a goal is a 3% client play that you're getting for free today on the Power 5. Quick note, if you're interested in more soccer, my 4% EPL game of the week is currently up for sale at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Reminder, since April, I am plus 36.3 units with all soccer. That's number one at Wager Talk and includes an 11-5-1 run in the Premier League. Don't forget about the free Premier League winner I gave out, Nottingham Forest. Uh, pl- money line. they were plus 110. They win 3 nil on Saturday against West Ham. If you caught that show, that was an addition to all those free college football winners I gave out. Uh, this game of the winner game of the week winner I've got for the Premier League. It is Monday, so hurry. Brentford Fulham starts 3 p.m. Eastern, as does Getafe Celta Vigo, by the way. All right. Does it for soccer. Let's move it to the NBA, where one team, Cleveland, is off to a perfect 7-0 straight up and against the spread start to the season. Only the third time in the last 30 years that we've seen a team start 7-0 straight up and ATS. Last team to do it was New Orleans in in 2010. That was so long ago. The Pelicans were still known as the Hornets at that time, who, and it should be noted, ended up finishing just 46-36 and that season. Now, this Cavs team's going to end up better than 46 and 36. They're very much for real. I have them currently power rated third in the entire league behind only Oklahoma City and Boston. But tonight the Cavs are laying seven to a Milwaukee team that just took them down to the wire Saturday night. Cavs won that game 114-113 on a last second Donovan Mitchell jumper. They're actually two-point underdogs despite going in undefeated. I think this line has moved too far for tonight's rematch. Seven is a lot of points, obviously. The Bucs are desperate as they've lost five in a row. Remember, this is a team with two superstars. The Bucs, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard. Also, the Cavs cannot possibly continue to shoot at a 52% overall clip. Let's grab an inflated number, Milwaukee plus seven. Number three. All right. While the Cavs are the only team in the league still perfect against the spread, there's... One team still perfect to the over, and that's the Atlanta Hawks, who have seen all seven of their games go over the total. Now, the Hawks, they were also 0-6 against the spread before last night's 126-111 win at New Orleans. I say tonight this other streak, the over streak, will end. Now, the Hawks are hosting the Celtics, so the under is going to be a scary bet. Number's 234.5, though. Predictably, it's the highest total on the board tonight. No Jalen Brown again for Boston. With Brown out, the Celtics posted their lowest point total of the season on Saturday, 113 in a win over Charlotte. I know my good friend Mark Zinno on today's edition of the Morning Wager predicted Boston to go over their team total, but I think the Hawks, on a second night of a back-to-back, 
struggle offensively, and as a result, this game stays under the total. Speaking of the morning wager on today's show, which you can now check out on the Wage Talk YouTube channel, make sure you're subscribed. We gave out Cade Otten anytime touchdown as a prop bet, the Bucks tight end. Well, I also like Kansas City to cover the spread in the first half. That's Chiefs minus five and a half in the first half. Tampa Bay is going to be up against it here without their top two receivers, which is why we targeted Otten in the prop market on the morning wager. Uh, Baker Mayfield, I think, is going to struggle early and often. The Bucks cannot run the ball. The Chiefs have an outstanding defense to boot. On the flip side, the Tampa Bay defense is bad, giving up an average of 30.2 points over the last five games. So I don't think Patrick Mahomes has much issue moving the ball here. Don't want to lay more than one score because there's always a chance for a backdoor cover uh, by the underdog. But you should expect KC to be up by six or more at halftime on Monday night football. Let's now close it out with a college basketball pick for Monday. This is a late game. Portland State at Washington State, 11 p.m. Eastern. I like the over 149.5. Clearly, the market agrees. This one's been up, bet up several points. That caught my eye. Should be a shootout in Pullman. Ken Palm has both these teams projected to be top 85 in tempo. Also, new Wazoo coach David Riley. He knows Portland State well from his time in the Big Sky coaching Eastern Washington. So let us now recap, a quick recap of the Power Five. We threw a lot at you. A lot of sports to bet on here on Monday. Number one, Getafe plus half a goal at Celta Vigo. Number two, as we go to the NBA, Milwaukee plus seven at Cleveland. Also in the NBA, under Celtics Heat, Celtics Hawks, pardon me, 234 and a half. That is Celtics Hawks. Number four, Monday Night Football, Chiefs minus five and a half in the first half against the Bucks. Number five, college basketball, Portland State, Washington State over 149 and a half. Again, comment down below with your thoughts and or questions. Let me know what you're betting on Monday as well. Certainly a lot to choose from, like I said, with the NFL, NBA, college basketball, and yes, even soccer. And after you've smashed that like button, which I know you've already done, Head on over to wt.buzz slash bp. That's where you find all of my winning selections. NFL was disappointing Sunday, but it was another winning weekend in college football where I am still number one this season at Wager Talk. Now 45-22, and 22, my last 67 CFB bets going back to last season, plus 75.4 units. You can still got time to take $50 off a full season college football all-access pass. Just use code FBALL50, that's F-B-A-L-L-5-0 at checkout. That will give you your instant $50 discount and get you every college football pick I release now uh, all the way to the national championship game in January. One more time, that's wt.buzz slash BP. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel and that's going to do it for Monday's edition of the Power 5. Hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.